What's up, you cinema-loving weirdos, and welcome back to The Lucid Nightmare. I'm your host as always, Jay Schatzer, and it is time for another quickie movie haul. Uh, we are whittling down the stack, and it's looking like there might be an end to this sometime soon. Uh, but you never know, I might go crazy and buy a whole shitload more movies, so you never know what's going to happen here. But let's get right into it with a good uh, eclectic mix. Uh, first up is a movie that I actually just reviewed recently and I've seen for the first time because I don't remember actually seeing all of it back in the day. But uh, recently came out on 4K and Blu-ray. The movie is Alligator. And this is a sweet, sweet package here. Really awesome stuff by Scream Factory. A whole, whole shitload of extras on here, a lot of good info. I've only actually got a chance to check out the movie, so I'm gonna dip into some of the extras and see what that's all about later. But uh, really, really awesome flick, as you can see from the review. And if you haven't seen the review yet, definitely check it out. Hell of a creature feature film. But uh, that was the slip cover. And then the inside, it did the little inverse with the actual movie poster or the uh, kind of artwork from it. And um, yeah, just a fun as hell movie with a lot of awesome characters in it. Uh, unforgettable moments and just a cool, cool premise of an alligator, a giant alligator <laughs> underneath the city who bursts up through the sewers and just wreaks havoc on the town. Awesome stuff and totally fun movie and one that I'm glad I finally got to check out because I have kind of memories of this growing up but not not as vivid as I thought because there's a lot of stuff in here that I that caught me off guard basically but um yep alligator from Scream Factory damn good pickup definitely recommend grabbing this one pretty pricey pretty damn pricey for it but um I figured it was worth the uh the hit <laughs> But yep, Alligator, first time in the collection. But up next is a fabulous science fiction film that is pretty much a ripoff of Star Wars, but um, done with a Roger Corman twist. The movie I'm talking about is Battle Beyond the Stars. And this one is a lot of fun and just a really crazy uh, group of characters all get together a lot of good actors and actresses in it and some special effects that are pretty impressive and just a weird story in general. Um, Roger Corman's kind of known for making bare bones movies but making them look big budget and this one is no exception. It's very, very, very uh, interesting to say the least. But um, yeah, amazing cast like I said. Uh, the memorable people are like Sybil Danning up there, plays like a uh, curvaceous space warrior. Uh, a bunch of different characters in here. Uh, he's from the It re the the original It TV series. I never remember that guy's name, but he's like the main hero, I guess the Luke Skywalker of the uh, film, if you will. But um, definitely a fun movie that I've owned on DVD before, and um, just upgrading it. I've been meaning to upgrade it for a long, long time, and this one kind of came across my radar for a pretty damn good price. So I figured, why the hell not pick it up? and upgrade it to blu-ray but yeah awesome awesome and fun film and i, I would say it's a ripoff but it's a ripoff of star wars but it's damn near it's unpredictable you don't really know what's going to happen because it does really go off the rails and into its own kind of adventure it's really really interesting but um yep battle beyond the stars upgrade to blu-ray Next up is a movie I haven't seen since my early years in college. Uh, it was one of our many movies that we watched at the dorm room and then back at the apartments. And yeah, it is The Toolbox Murders. And I have some memory of this film, but haven't. It's, it's, it's not very solid of a memory. So I wanted to kind of refresh myself with it and picked it up for a damn cheap price. Someone was giving it away and I said, I will take that off your hands. Um, I didn't even realize like the cast that was in it, like um, Cameron Mitchell is like a pretty prominent star in the movie and I do not remember him even being in the film. So like I said, I have a very foggy memory of this movie, but um, it is a classic 
And yeah, just a sleazy slasher type flick uh, with exploitation elements in it and just nasty looking. So looking forward to pretty much watching it for the first time because it's been so long. But um, I've never owned it before prior on DVD and just good to have it finally in the collection and just in my grasp so I can watch it sometime later because I really have been itching to watch it the last few years because I really don't remember a damn thing about it. But that is the Toolbox Murders first time in the collection. But let's go to an old childhood favorite of mine, a classic Disney film. And it is uh, the telling of a historic tale. It is the sword and the stone. And I always loved, I always thought this one was a lot of fun growing up. Um, I know it's not one of the, the, the more famous Disney outputs that they did around these around these years of the early animation 2D cell ones. But um, yeah, it's a really awesome retelling of kind of King, you know, the King Arthur sword of the sword, the sword in the stone, Merlin. All that good stuff and some really cool memorable moments throughout it um i don't know why but i always remembered the him being changed into a squirrel and running from another squirrel that was like the the most vivid memory of it and then the uh witch being turned into different various animals and creatures and merlin and them their battle but um yeah i don't believe i have ever owned this one prior because i've only more recently been trying to pick up older films and cartoons animated films um, just 80s comedies and stuff like that. So good to have it in the collection and on Blu-ray and DVD, I think. Yeah, it's got everything. And yeah, just a fun film and one I enjoy and glad to have it in the collection. Sword in the Stone. But next up is a movie I've never seen before. It's a very obscure martial arts kung fu flick. And the movie is... The Leg Fighters. I've never seen this one before. I've always heard a lot of good things about this one and Crippled Avengers and all those handicap, I guess, style martial arts films. I don't know if that's like a subgenre, but um, I've always wanted to check them out and kind of gather them up into the collection. And I have The Leg Fighter now. Uh, don't know much about it. I know that... Who put this one out? VCI put this one out. And they've been doing a pretty good job with just kind of rare, obscure martial arts films and and uh, exploitation films and horror films and things like that. And so I just figured I'd give it a chance because I've been wanting to see these type of films. And someone was giving it away for a pretty low price, so I said, hell, why not? It's been on my kind of radar and wish list for a long time. So now I own the Leg Fighters. And I assume it's people that fight with their legs. I, I don't know. That's about it. Um, but yeah, really cool looking flick and I'm always down for an, uh, for like an older classic martial arts flick and this one hits all the, ticks all the boxes. So that is the leg fighter. Never had it in the collection before and glad to have it now. The next up is a movie that I watched so many times in my childhood. I could not even count. Um, but I, I don't, I never knew. The title of it. Um, I always just remember the premise of the film, but I never knew the actual title. And then I saw somebody was saying they got a recent pickup from one of those old Mill Creek retro designed Blu-rays. And I was like, what the hell is this movie? I've never even heard of it before. And then I looked up the trailer and saw that it was this volleyball movie that I used to watch uh, and my brother used to watch too over and over and over and over again. And just always got a kick out of it for some reason. Uh, the movie I'm talking about is Side Out, and I did not know that was the title of this movie. Stupid-ass title. I'm assuming it's a volleyball term, but um, yeah, Side Out is just a movie that I used to watch whenever it was on TV, and it was on a lot, and it's pretty much just follows two guys um, from different walks of life. One's a beach bum kind of dude, and the other guy's a business young businessman, and they get together, and they join this volleyball tournament uh partners like tournament and just kind of rise up the ranks and you know run into bad enemy you know like the, there's always that team of assholes and 
and they have girl troubles and all different stuff like that. It's, it's a fun film from what I remember, and I'm going to be watching it out. I'm going to be watching it soon because I totally forgot this film existed until I saw somebody posting their pics of what they picked up. Um, but yeah, Side Out. I mean, the only real star in it is C. Thomas Howell. Um, I know that other chick's from Summer School and Melrose Place. I, I never know her name. And um, But yeah, here's a, a less... Uh, not as exciting cover, but um, but yeah, it gives you the gist of what the film's about. Two buddies going to war in the volleyball field, but um, it's beach volleyball, so it's all all summered out and looking looking like an '80s comedy. So fun, fun film, and really glad that I came across it because I totally forgot the movie even existed. But yep, that is Side Out, and first time in the collection because I forgot it existed. <laughs> But next up is a movie that's supposedly a pretty good flick. I don't know if it's like a cult classic status yet. But uh, one that just flew me by. I, I guess I just wasn't interested in this type of film when the movie came out. First, when it f was first released in the 90s, I believe. Um, but um, yeah, I heard good things about it. It has a stellar-ass cast. I and mean, this is before I even really looked into what actors were in stuff and things like that. But um. Yeah, this one is supposedly a classic, and it's Mary Sheely's Frankenstein with Robert De Niro as the monster. And um, just a really cool-ass-looking film with a lot of atmosphere. I want to say that Dracula, Francis Ford Coppola's Dracula came out and kind of re re uh, reignited a spark that kind of brought all these classic monsters back to the forefront and classic horror tales. And this was... One of the ones I believe that came after that. Um, but yeah, really, really stellar cast. Uh, Kenneth Brennan, Brenna, or however you say it, is in it. And um, I can't remember that chick's name. It's in all the Tim Burton movies and Harry Potter. Uh, Helen Bonham Carter, that's it. But um, yeah, it looks very atmospheric. Just a really classy looking production. And one that just, like I said, I was not... Looking out for those kind of films, I guess, when it first came out. And now that I've heard so many good things about it, uh, I've seen the tra trailer over the years, I've always been wanting to check it out for myself. So now I can, because it's in the collection. So first time in the collection, and I am happy for that. I need to get a drink. My mouth is parched, and I am pissed because, let me say, they got rid. I couldn't find it in any of the convenience stores I, this is the first time trying this. I'm not a fan of it. Um, I love this Rockstar strawberry, whipped strawberry uh, combination or whatever. It wasn't in any, any of the convenience stores I stopped at on the way home. So I am pissed. I hope they didn't discontinue it. I like live off of it. And yeah, send me some. But let's keep moving on. We got uh, two more to go. And this one is a fun, lighthearted uh, tale on an old kind of... I don't know if it's a fairy tale, but it's a, it's an old story. <laughs> uh, and the movie is a Steven Spielberg film. It is Hook with Robin Williams and um, what's it, Dustin Hoffman, uh, Julia Roberts as Tinkerbell. And yeah, just a fun ass film. Uh, oh, don't want to forget about Bob Hoskins down there. Smee. I totally forgot he was actually in this movie for some reason because he, I don't know why, but I just forgot until I saw his picture down there but an awesome movie i think it's been a few years since i've watched it uh, and i believe this is the first time i've had this in the collection i didn't own it prior but i could be wrong because i do have a lot of movies stashed away that i completely forgot i even own but um yep glad to have it on blu-ray and just if you haven't seen it it's just a fun kind of uh, I guess it's continuation on the Peter Pan story, as in um, Robin Williams' character right there is Peter Pan grown up. He actually came back to the real world, had kids, and forgot about Neverland, and kind of Captain Hook screws with him, steals his kids, and forces Peter to go back to Neverland, but he doesn't remember how to do anything, he doesn't know how to fly, he has to kind of relearn everything. But um, great performance by Robin Williams, um, Dustin Hoffman does an amazing job as Hook, and just everyone, Bob Hoskins, uh, even Julia Roberts, who I just find grating at times. She does a great job as Tinkerbell and just the whole whole cast. The kids do great. Just a really fun and well-made film. So definitely check it out if you like Steven Spielberg films 
or Peter Pan stories or just anything like that. But yep, that is Hook. And last but not least is a Hammer Horror Classic that I am upgrading to blue because I pretty much own every other Hammer Horror film on DVD and on Blu-ray. But um, this is one of the ones that slipped by and I've been always meaning to... Oh, might have saw it. It is The Mummy. Uh, just a really awesome Hammer Horror film. And of course, it stars Peter Cushing and of course, it stars Christopher Lee as the mummy and i always thought that was an interesting twist or just an in interesting play because christopher lee is such an iconic face that he's almost you know he's wrapped up most of the time or just not expressive like he usually is so it was interesting to see him in that role i remember for the first time when i watched it i was really curious to see how that all played out because he's always such a visually striking person person uh on screen and then to have him kind of be the monster uh, other than Dracula kind of thing. But, um, yep, really awesome film. Fun stuff. And, um, yeah, like I said, I own it prior on various, uh, well, various DVD editions uh, with different regions from UK to here. Uh, and now just upgrading it to Blu-ray because just want to have it looking a little bit better and just preservation-wise and you know, but, um, yep, I have a lot of Hammer Horror stuff on that side over there, so that'll be going up to join its brethren. But that is The Mummy, upgrading to Blu-ray. But that's going to be it for this movie haul. But a lot of good stuff, uh, kind of like the last video. A lot of varying genres and a nice balance. I always try to make it a nice little balance of stuff to show off. But, um, yeah, pretty pretty awesome <laughs> but uh cool stuff and a lot of stuff to put in the collection which i don't even have room i mean half this shit there's like a level right here where it's just piles of movies just piles of them that don't have room there and don't have room on that shelf over there so i kind of just been stacking them but i probably should get some kind of thing to put them in because it's kind of getting ridiculous <laughs> But, guys, that is it for me today. I hope you enjoyed that one, and I hope you like what I'm doing here. If you do, please like and subscribe. And if you have time, leave a comment below, because I love hearing from you guys. But um, that's it, so I will see you guys later. Uh, stay safe, stay out of trouble. Uh, a lot of crazy shit's going on in this world. Um, so I guess it's a good enough time than ever than kind of just insulate ourselves with movies. And just focus on that because the rest of the world is going to shit. Uh, yeah. Didn't mean to leave it on a sour note like that. But guys, take care, stay out of trouble, and I will see you guys later. Later, guys.